Right, hi guys, we're doing something different today. Because Eric Busa likes to do something different. We're down at Clacton on the seafront. It's busy as hell because it's sunny. And the kids are off school. So we parked here with a little old Doblo van, as my ambulance I call it. And what's inside it? Let's go and have a look. Right, what we got inside this today is if I, if I can unwrap it good thing about this uh, black motorbike cover is you can't see the bike when it's in the van there you go look that's in there and the only thing that holds it in is these two little straps so we just uh, push that that one's off already Simple as that. Walk round here. Oh, bugger. Just hit my head on my mirror. Oh, my jacket's in the way. And uh, just push that. Take my brake off. That's the other strap off. There we go. We're actually ready to take the bike out any second. Uh, where shall I put this? Chuck it down there for now. <laughs> right, next thing we do. Is... See the scooters in here, can't you look? There you go. All we do is pull that handle. There's your ramp. Simple as that. That's just to go on there when I push the ramp up, stop it scratching on the mud guard. Because this actually fits in dead bloody perfect. That's why it doesn't need much strapping down. It's just fucking easy to put in. So that's that. So all we do now is uh, just ride it out. There we go. That easy, guys. So you can imagine what we're doing when we go on holiday. Look, there we go. I can stand up in it. Door here, door there, two doors there. Double doors at the back, cupboards, little nucky hallways and stuff like that, spare wheel and what have you. That's all we need. Shelf up here for bits and bobs. Another seat here. I think I'm going to need that coat today. Anyway, there you go, look. Really easy, isn't it? Shh. Drive it straight down there. Um, and that's why I bought this scooter because uh, it's the only one that fits in this van. There's only one other that will go in this van. And the reason why is because it's got the bigger wheels and it's really, really light. It's a very lightweight one, two, five. I like a little cubby hole. Hot box with good. it. Got me a little hook, put me shopping on and uh, it's in total mint condition. And I think I got it at a bit, bit of a bargain price to be honest. So I'm really happy with it. It's done very, very low mileage. I've had it a year now. It's been stored in the in the shed. So what I intend to do is to use this probably next week to um, go to Dartmouth down in, down in Cornwall. So if you want to ride along with me then, I know I'm not my big GS adventurer, but I just want to do something different and um, just have a look around a few places. And um, we've got Dartmouth, Totnes, Paynton, Brixton, all those places to look around, which are a really, really nice place. So I'm going to do it on the little scooter. Anyway, let's get going. Oh yeah, I better show you how, how hard it is to lock it back up again. Job done.
Right then guys, you get some idea how uh, easy it is to get it in and out of the van and to take this on holiday. Um, can you imagine going to sort of uh, somewhere on the Mediterranean um, or Spain or everywhere and just taking this scooter and just cruising around. It makes a difference from that big GS adventure I've got and um, you know it's a little bit different from the obviously the Honda NX700 which is a little bit lighter but this is so much easier. So what we're planning to do as I say um, next week um, I think it's I think it's next week I'm not sure when the kids go back at school but as soon as they're back at school in about a week or a week and a half I'm going to be shooting off to Cornwall and spending a few days looking around Brixton and um, Paynton and my favourite place Dartmouth you'll love that it's got a little ferry we'll go across the river dart on and what have you and stick with me come ride with Eric Busa as the caption says and here it is Well guys, it's a lovely day down here and uh, I don't think I'm allowed to come down here with the school but I don't give a shit. You know what I'm like? Let's go and play in the, uh, in the sea. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! It's got wet. I don't like getting wet. Anyway, is it worth an ice cream? Or is it worth a cup of tea? I'll go and have a look, see what's see what they got but uh, it's good here yeah let's go and have a look see what they got it's a hard life for a booter right I've had a great day another picture of the seaside been driving around all Clacton and Jaywick and everywhere and had something to eat and uh, yeah it's been great because I'm not a guy that's one of these macho guys, you know, won't be seen dead riding on anything that doesn't wheelie or do 180 miles an hour. Um, I used to be, but these days I don't give a shit. As long as it's got two wheels, I'm happy. So uh, it's been great. Yeah, I've had a great day. Going to go and stick it back in the van in a minute. So uh, see what you think, guys. Catch you later on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Right, we're back at the van. Let's uh, get the bugger in. Really she is. 
Tschüss.